question is on the real number system. Our biggest goal here, and this goes, so our last three lessons have all been um, our big essential standards, is understanding the properties of exponents and then being able today to classify whether it's gonna be make a rational number or whether it's gonna be irrational. So we're talking this year about the real number system because eventually you'll get to a point, I wanna say it's in 10th grade when you talk about imaginary numbers. But right now, everything we're dealing with is a real number. So a real number is a set um, of numbers that contain all rational and irrational numbers. So examples of those would be any of these numbers here. Some of these numbers are rational, some of them are irrational, and our goal is to decide where they belong. So a rational number is any number that can be written as a fraction. Any number that can be written as a fraction. So if it's already written as a fraction, it is a rational number. Where an irrational number are decimal numbers um, that do not terminate, so they do not end, and do not repeat, okay? So that's where we are gonna look at those. So here's how you can tell if it's gonna be rational or irrational. If you have a positive and negative whole number, they are all going to be rational numbers because we can take any positive and negative whole number and we can change it to a fraction. So that one would be negative one over one, negative two over one. All of those are going to be um, uh, rational numbers because they can be written as fractions. If you have positive and negative decimals, those are also okay. And that's because you could have negative 1.2, which would be um, a negative one and one fifth. We can write that as a fraction, so that's okay. Any terminating decimal. So a decimal that ends 1.2, 1 1.5691, 1 any of those are repeating decimals. So terminating, remember, it means ends. You could also have um, repeating decimals. Remember, repeating has the same number over and over. So 6.3 with a line over it, or it could be like 8.1212 dot dot dot, meaning this goes 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. And the last one you could have is a perfect square. So when you put it in your calculator, when you square root something, it comes out a whole number. Okay, no decimals. That's the easiest way to tell that it is rational. The next thing you can do is look at irrational. Because irrational means that they're a nasty number. If you've ever dealt with somebody who's irrational, it's like you can't even talk to them because they're just all over the place, they're so frustrated. Some of you may get that way. Um, and there's like no reasoning with you. I have a son that when he gets mad, like it, I can't even like get him to calm down enough to reason. So once he finally calms down, then I can talk to him. So that's irrational. So pi, that is gonna be irrational. If you have like three times pi, automatically irrational. The only time pi wouldn't be is if it was pi divided by pi, and that's because anything divided by pi is one. So pi, automatically irrational. If it is a non-perfect square, so if you put in, let's say you put in eight, if it comes out as a decimal, on this one it would come out two radical two. If you get that, that's why. It cannot have a radical sign in it still, or it'll come out as a big long decimal. Okay, so if you put it in your calculator and you still get a radical sign, it is irrational. And then the last thing you wanna look for is decimals that do not terminate and do not repeat. So it's gonna look like this. You might get like negative 3.169116911169. You can see a pattern, but it does not repeat. So that means that it goes on and on and on forever and it is not the same thing repeating. So that doesn't terminate. I should have swapped those. And it does not repeat. So you might get something like this, 
4.8129367.1 and you're like, well, that's like all over the place. Your calculator will not show you that it keeps going because your calculator only has so much room, but that's what it's asking you. So today on your assignment, it's gonna look like this. It's gonna give you a number and then you have to tell what, if it's rational or irrational and then give the reason why. So when I look and there's only one that can be marked in each one. So when I look at this negative 4.3, I have a decimal, it fits right here. It's a decimal that terminates. So I'm going to know that this is, I'm gonna highlight this because it is a rational number and it's because it is a terminating decimal. I have a decimal number right here that ends, done. Now, when I put in radical seven in my calculator, it comes out radical seven. So it did not change. That means that this is irrational because it is a non-perfect square. So this is a box I need to mark. I know that if you convert it, it will come out as a decimal that doesn't end or repeat but it is a non-perfect square. It's not perfect because it still had the radical. The difference between these two answers is if it has a radical and keeps a radical, it's a non-perfect square, where like this one is irrational because you'll notice it goes one, two, one, one, two, two, one, 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 two, 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 which is the problem. This is a decimal that does not repeat and does not terminate. Those are the difference. They'll already be in a decimal form. All right, try those last um, couple there. And then I want you to find all, I want you to highlight all the rational numbers. So like this one is rational. It's a terminating decimal. Finish that off.